Hello, hi students. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss previous year need questions from gravitation chapter and mechanical properties of uh, fluids. Okay. Our first chapter is, our first question is, a, a particle a particle of mass m is projected with a velocity v is equal to kv from the surface of the earth. The maximum height above the surface reached by the particle is. Okay, now let us see what he is saying. He said that, he, he told that this is a particle of mass m which is projected which is projected with a velocity v is equal to kve and he gave the value of k as less than 1. Okay, then what happened? It reached to certain height, it reached to certain maximum height maximum height h and then fell back that came back he is asking us to calculate the value of that uh, maximum height okay so now let small m be the mass of the object let capital m be the mass of the earth and let capital r be the radius of the earth okay now here there is one important point that you have to observe that is the value of k is less than 1 that means the value of velocity v will be less than escape velocity. Okay. We already know that if the value of velocity is equal to escape velocity, the body will reach, will go to infinity. That is, it escapes from the gravitational field of the earth. That means, in this case, the value of h will be equal to infinity. But in our case, the value of v is less than escape velocity. So, surely it reaches to certain maximum height and then falls back. Okay. Now, let us see the case for uh, k equal to 1. Okay. So, when k is equal to 1, we know that the value of h should be infinity. Now, let us substitute k equal to 1 in these options. Okay. When I substitute k is equal to 1 in first option, your h will not be infinity. So, first option will not be your answer. Similarly, in the case of a second option also, h will not be infinity. So, second option will not be your answer. But, whereas in the case of a third option and a fourth option, your value of h will be infinity. That means, your options will be either 3 or 4. Okay. Now, you have to choose the correct answer between 3 and 4. Okay. So, now let me take this as the point of projection. That point I will take it as A. And it reached to a point B. Okay. At A, so at A, what will happen? It will have both potential energy and kinetic energy. So, the formula for potential energy at A is PEA is equal to minus G capital M small m by capital R where capital R is the distance from the center. Okay. At A, it has kinetic energy also. Kinetic energy at A is equal to half m v square. V is nothing but a velocity of projection that is k v e whole square. Okay. That is equal to uh, k square into half m v e square. We know the formula for escape velocity as VE is equal to root over 2G capital M by capital R. Let me substitute that uh, VE here. If I substitute, what will I get? K square into 1 by 2 into small m VE square. That is G capital M by R. Okay. So, this uh, 2, 2. This 2, this 2 will get cancelled. That is equal to K square into G capital M small m by capital R. Okay. So, this is the total energy at, uh, uh, see, this is the energy at A, these, these are the values of uh, potential energy and kinetic energies at A. Now, let us go to B. At B, so, it has potential energy, that is PEB is equal to minus G capital M small m by r plus h where r plus h is the distance from the center that is distance from the center of the earth to 
this point okay distance between these two points okay at uh, at b the value of kinetic energy will be keb will be equal to 0 since it reaches to its uh, maximum height okay now according to law of conservation of energy we know that the value of total energy at a will be equal to the value of total energy at b okay so total energy is nothing but kinetic energy plus potential energy total energy is nothing but kinetic energy plus potential energy so now if i apply this logic at a and b what will i get so kinetic energy at a that is k square into g capital m small m by r plus potential energy at uh, a that is minus g capital m small m by r is equal to total energy at b that is kinetic energy at b plus potential energy at b that is 0 plus of minus g capital m small m by r plus h okay now this minus g capital m small m will get cancelled then what will i get that implies k square minus 1 whole divided by r is equal to minus 1 by r plus h okay now then what that implies if i multiply by minus 1 on both sides and if i bring this r to the numerator then what will i get 1 minus k square is equal to r by r plus h okay so if i 1 minus k square by 1 okay now if i inverse this entire thing then what will i get r plus h by r is equal to 1 by 1 minus k square okay now if i solve this finally what will i get i'll get the value of h as h is equal to r k square by 1 minus k square okay so our uh, answer for this uh, question will be your uh, third option that is r k square by 1 minus k square our next question is the escape velocity from the earth surface is v the escape velocity from the surface of another planet of radius 4 times that of earth and same mass density is so let us see what he gave. So this is a planet Earth and this is other planet P. What did he give? He gave that the escape velocity from the Earth's surface is V. And he is asking us to calculate the escape velocity on some other planet VP. That is how much? Okay, let me take this as a V. That is escape velocity on Earth. And what more did he give? He told that the radius of this planet that is rp is four times that of radius of earth okay is four times that of radius of earth okay if i take this as the radius of earth that is re he told he gave that rp is four times that of re okay now what what we are supposed to calculate we are supposed to calculate the relation or find the relation between vp and ve we know that the formula for uh, escape velocity as V e is equal to root over 2 G capital M by capital R. Okay. And what more did he give? He told that for both planets, the value of mass density is constant. That means rho is constant in both cases. Okay. Now, let me arrange this uh, escape velocity formula. That is, I will write like this. V e is equal to root over 2 g capital m where m is the mass of the planet that can be written as density of the planet into volume of the planet by capital r okay now if you observe this formula your capital g is constant your rho is constant okay so only vp is variable what is vp vp is the or let me write like this small vp small vp is the volume of the planet that can be written as root over 2g into rho into volume of a planet which is nothing but a sphere so volume will be 
4 by 3 pi r cube whole divided by r. This r will get cancelled that here you will get the r square. Now if you observe this formula your capital G is constant, rho is constant, rest everything is constant. The only variable is r and we so from this we can conclude that the escape velocity is proportional to r which is in, which is nothing but radius of the planet if density of the planet is constant that is mass density is constant so now if you apply this logic to earth and planet we'll get like this that is escape velocity on the earth by escape velocity on the planet will be equal to radius of radius of earth by radius of the planet Okay, now what did he ask us to calculate? He asked us to calculate the escape velocity from the planet. That is, I can write like this. That is, if I arrange, rearrange, I will get like this. Vp is equal to Ve into Rp, that is radius of the planet by radius of the earth. And he gave the relation between Rp and uh, Re as Rp is equal to 4 Re. That implies Vp can be written as V into Rp is 4 Re by radius of the earth Re. This, this will get cancelled. That is escape velocity from the planet will be 4 will be 4 times that of escape velocity from earth. Okay. So let us move to our uh, next question. The velocity of a small ball of mass capital M at density D when dropped in a container filled with glycerin becomes constant after some time. If the density of glycerin is d by 2, then the viscous force acting on the ball will be. Okay, now let us see what he gave. He told that he dropped a body of mass capital M. Okay, and he, the density of this uh, ball is small d. Okay, he dropped this uh, ball of mass capital M into a container which is filled with glycerin. Okay. And he gave the value of density of this glycerin as d by 2. And what did he say? After traveling certain distance or after some time, it attained... What did, where did he give? Just, uh, he, uh, he, he told that uh, after traveling certain time, this ball attained constant velocity. Okay. Now, let me take this point as the point where this ball attained constant velocity. That is, from here to here, okay, it travels with some acceleration. That is, acceleration is not constant, not zero. Okay. So, after reaching here, since it is moving with a constant velocity, so the value of acceleration will be zero. Okay. So, now, first let us uh, go to this case, that is top case. And now let us try to identify the forces acting on this uh, ball. So, what are the forces acting on the ball? First force is weight, mg, which is acting in downward direction. Bayant force, which is acting in upward direction. Okay. Now, since the body is uh, moving down, that is relative motion will be in downward direction. Relative velocity will be in downward direction. So, viscous force will be in upward direction. Okay, so this body is being acted by three forces. Bayan force in upward direction, viscous force in uh, upward direction, mg in downward direction. Okay, so now after crossing this point, what did he give? He told that or we came to a conclusion that the body is moving with zero acceleration. That is, the value of net force acting on the ball will be zero. That means, the total upward forces will be equal to total downward forces. Okay. So, the total upward forces will be Bayern force plus viscous force will be equal to the total uh, downward force that is mg. Now, what did he ask us to calculate? He asked us to calculate the viscous force acting on the ball. Okay. So, we can write like this. The, the value of viscous force, the formula for viscous force will be mg minus Bayern force. That is equal to mg into mg minus by and force. That is weight of the volume of the liquid displaced by the ball. 
which will be equal to volume of the ball into density of glycerin that is density of the fluid into g that is equal to mg into what did he give uh, so minus volume of the volume of the ball that is what did he give he gave the volume of the ball is v okay v let, let me take the volume of ball as v into density of glycerin what did he give density of glycerin is d by 2 d by 2 into g okay that is equal to mg minus volume of the ball into density of the ball which is nothing but mass of the ball m by 2 into g that is equal to mg by 2 okay so the viscous force uh, acting on this uh, ball will be mg by 2 if you feel that this video is useful kindly share to your friends if you have any doubts or suggestions you can comment me in the comment section do like and subscribe because your single like and comment will encourage me for making better videos. Thank you.